We're here today in the inner suburb of Clifton Hill on a very windy but sunny day. I'm going to show you around this area as usual, but this time with my transport planner hat on, because this is one of the most important transport interchanges in the north of Melbourne. Clifton Hill has been an important transport interchange for well over 100 years. Today, eight public transport routes converge on the suburb, which is about four kilometres northeast of Melbourne's CBD. Several major roads and bike routes also meet here. Now, Clifton Hill is significant for many different reasons. For the railways, it's where the Mernda and Hurstbridge lines meet. Their timetables combine to form generally 10 minute headways or better, south of here towards the city during most daytime hours. Here at Clifton Hill Station, where these two lines converge, there are two platforms. Its main claim to fame as a station is that it is one of the most architecturally important heritage buildings left on the entire metropolitan network. Built in 1888, it is one of the few built in a Gothic revival style and also one of the most intact. There are some other surviving examples across Melbourne as well, for example North Carlton Station on the former Inner Circle Line. Clifton Hill Station also has one of the last remaining freestanding canopy structures left on a railway platform in Melbourne. This particular one was actually rescued from some nearby buildings that burnt down in a fire in 1981, which almost destroyed the entire station, and it was moved to its current position soon afterwards. Today, its surroundings look very different to when it was built over 130 years ago. The most dominant structures near here now are the huge expanses of concrete and asphalt on Hoddle Street, Queen's Parade and Heidelberg Road. These sprawling road junctions were built in 1957 when the level crossing was grade separated from Heidelberg Road just north of the station. A huge road overpass went in instead, which you can see today. The original plan was actually for a road tunnel, but the underground rock here was considered unsuitable by the Country Roads Board and the bridge was built instead. As well as the road widenings and new bridges, the 1957 grade separation also built a maze of new paths and underpasses for pedestrian access. This would have been considered quite innovative and new at the time, with these things coming into fashion and pedestrian bridges and tunnels becoming quite common for engineers to build for many decades to come. The main reason I mention this is because Clifton Hill has so many of these. You can't really change between trains, trams and buses without having to go through at least one tunnel here. It's quite a unique setup for Melbourne, although many other cities around the world have a lot of places designed like this, such as Milton Keynes or Bradford in the UK. So now that we've gone through the various underpasses and walkways, we've now arrived on the west side of Hoddle Street at Mayors Park. Here you can see one of the two main bus interchanges, the 246 to Elstonwick, 504 to Mooney Ponds, and 546 to Melbourne University and Heidelberg all stop here just outside the station. But just a few minutes walk further west and through some more tunnels and back streets, you will find what is called the official Clifton Hill Interchange on Queen's Parade. This is a bit more extensive than the Hoddle Street stops. The 86 tram to Docklands and Bandura RMIT services this interchange, as well as bus routes 250 to La Trobe University and 251 to Northland Shopping Centre, and the 246 and 504 make an appearance again. This is notable for being one of only two places in Melbourne where trams and buses run on the same part of the road, the other being on Queensbridge Street outside Crown Casino in the city. The bus stop platforms here are spread out along this stretch of Queen's Parade in the middle of the road, right next to the tram stops. A little further north from here is the rail bridge that carries the Mernda line over High Street, just next to Merry Creek. This is the result of an earlier grade separation project completed in 1925, which was the same year that the Northcote cable trams were connected to the wider Melbourne network and could finally run all the way into the city. Clifton Hill has been an important transport hub for Melbourne's inner north for well over a century. There is plenty to see, so if you have some time to kill while waiting for your connecting service, have a look around and see what you could find. Thanks for watching this video about Clifton Hill and its transport interchanges. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to click the like button and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Also, please get in touch in the comments or via my website at philipmalice.com. Thanks and see you next time.